The conversion of St. Augustine was the starting point of His Holiness. Augustine was one who best experienced a change in the conduct of his life that led him to become a new man. That is, he turned completely around. Behind him were the problems of anxiety of the search. He left behind his unbridled passions, his desolate life. He writes, I was desiring and awaiting my liberation. However, I remain tied to the ground, not with external chains, but with the irons of my own will. Then comes a moment when he meets God and says this very beautiful prayer, Lord, you created us for yourselves, and our hearts will be restless until they rest in you. That is Augustine, the man of restless heart. But Augustine doesn't understand without his mother by his side. Augustine was a libertine, a free thinker, a pagan. His mother, who was a Christian, used to cry. She used to cry for his conversion. And this was granted to her. At the moment of death, she said to Augustine and his brother, I do not have any more reason to remain here. She then looked at Augustine and told him, Only one thing remained for me, to see you become a Christian, and this God gave me in abundance. It is done. I have found what I was looking for with my tears. From the tears of his mother, Augustine meets God, and he begins to describe what a life of union with God is like. God entered his heart and remained. And he teaches us how to discover him inside of ourselves. Even in the moment of greatest sin and dissipation, he writes, You were with me, but I was not with you. They kept me far apart from you. Those things which would have not been were they not in you. But you called, shouted, broke to my deafness. You flattered, blazed, banished my blindness. I tasted you, and I hungered and thirst. You touched me, and I burned for your peace. How is your internal deafness? He is calling you from within with this anxiety you have, just like Augustine. You had the same restless heart until you find him. Thinking about St. Augustine, this man who, as a pagan, became a Christian, going from libertine to saint, I will give you a piece of advice. Let yourself look for God, for this God who speaks to you in your heart.